Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today I'm going to talk about interesting ways that the Mandela Effect is revealing new monuments to us. In this case, it is through weird weather. I was cued into this by Thomas Larson. Uh, he posted this on one of my videos. The heat wave is unveiling ancient settlements around the world. Now, when you click on these, you're finding mostly that uh, they're talking about the UK, Britain, Ireland, Wales, those kind of places. So uh, they have apparently a huge heat wave slash drought going on there right now. How the heat wave is revealing hidden landscapes and forgotten ruins. This is really interesting. I mean, there have been many droughts and heat waves throughout the world, and sometimes they are in places that are fair, have traditionally been fairly wet, and I've never heard of this before ever. Uh, this is very interesting to me. So basically they're saying that the uh, disturbances in the ground in the past have caused some areas to retain water better than others to such an extreme extent that uh, some places will stay completely green and other places completely brown. So here is an example. This was a green field and the drought has exposed these patterns that used to exist due to um, some structures that used to be in here and are now long gone. So only the dirt is different. So here they're saying this is like a new Stonehenge, uh, minus the stones. Um, here at Bru New Bonnet, uh, interesting areas here. So here's a larger view of it. So they're saying um, the outline of in the center of the image is the most recent discovery. Let's see what else we have. Okay, Clumber House. The recently discovered sundial can be seen in the right of the image. Imprints of walls. This one's real interesting. Oh, this is the same one as up above, I think. Yeah, see, there's the old uh, images of how that area used to be. And uh, see, there's you can see the rounded structures here are the rounded structures here. Uh, I've just never heard of anything like this before. Lasham Airfield. The circles represent where dispersal zones where aircraft would have been parked between flights. Just really interesting. Um, all right, let's see. There's some more of these now. Across Britain in scorched fields and gardens. There's the same one we already saw. Uh, this one's a new one. Roman town in Keister, Norfolk has been exposed on the dry land. Remnants of World War II air raid shelters. There's that hinge again. This is in Ireland. Just all kinds of stuff being revealed. Now, one of the things that I find really interesting is, um, I've besides the fact that I've never heard of this before, is that in the last three years, there's just been so many examples of unusual weather revealing things that were hidden. I mean, I would expect this to happen rarely, but uh, the amount of things that have been revealed in the last three three years have been phenomenal. Uh, I, if, in this case, especially, I've never even heard of a heat wave doing this kind of a thing. Uh, but in the past, it was last few years, it's a little bit more believable, but they're saying uh, here unusual storms were revealing all kinds of things a few years ago. And what's weird to me is that we have had extreme storms in the past and rarely would you hear of anything new being revealed. So then the last few years, there's been tons and tons of things. It's in the news like once a week. Uh, here's some examples. Uh, storm uncovers ancient remains of Roman aqueduct in Cadiz. 5,000-year-old uh, forest unearthed by storm. Now this one's especially interesting here because they were saying that uh, the lack of ox oxygen here means microbes which rot things cannot grow while the alkali, alkali pickles, the alkali pickles whatever it touches, helping it to preserve it. Uh, okay. The stumps have been miraculously well preserved due, due to the conditions in the peat bog, which, are de which deprive of oxygen and usually have a high alkaline level. But here's the thing, this is on the ocean. I mean, you don't really think of this as a peat bog. You've got water sloshing constantly, water coming in from the ocean. You don't think of this as something that doesn't have 
oxygen. I mean, there's tides and constant swirling. Um, but they're saying that these have been preserved from ancient times on the side of this ocean, and they're not petrified. These are just regular stumps from a long time ago. 5,000-year-old forest. I mean, I've seen stumps that were 20, 30 years old, but 5,000 years old on the edge of the ocean there? Um, now, I, I've, I've definitely heard in recent years about peat bogs, but when you hear peat bogs, you're thinking like this, uh, something where there is no fresh water, uh, there's no circulation. That's the kind of peat bog I am used to. A bog is a wetland that accumulates peat, a deposit of dead plant material, often mosses, in the majority of cases, sphagnum moss. Um, so weirdly, though, I mean, this is just not what I would consider a peat bog. That's fresh water. I don't see an accum accumulation of dead stuff. I don't see moss. So that excuse uh, is strange to me, but I have noticed in the last few years that that uh, that wood has been preserving really strangely well. Okay, here's another one. El Nino storm unearthed a massive shipwreck. Everyone was in awe when they finally realized what the structure was. And this one, uh, I think this one was really close to me too, strangely. All right, here's another one. Storm uncovers ancient remains of Roman aqueduct and road in Cadiz. The waterway dead, but dates back to the first century and is considered one of the greatest feats of engineering in Roman Hispania. All of these are just recent ones. Ruins of Spanish town emerge after decades underwater. A worsening drought in northern Spain has nearly emptied the reservoir, revealing what remains of a long abandoned town. West Coast uncovers remnants of long sunken Oregon town. Oregon. Again, you're seeing these um, wood remnants that are just remarkably well preserved. This was a reservoir, so I don't think it's going to be a stinky old peat bog, yet this thing was down here all this time, uh, preserved in a remarkable condition. I mean, it's just amazing. 1953, the old town of Detroit, Detroit deserted their homes after Congress approved a nearby dam. So uh, how long has that been in there? Quite a while. And here's another one. Ancient Mexican temple reappears as water levels drop. This one's an extra interesting one. So that one's in uh, Mexico. Um, so again, we've got drought, and then we have storm waves, and then we have the, the uh, dropping water le levels in the reservoirs. Seems like uh, every weird weather phenomenon we get lately is being uh, used as sort of a excuse for why we're discovering new, weird, ancient remnants of things. So I think this is another pattern that we're really seeing in the last three years that just was not nearly so prominent at any time before. And I do think this is likely Mandela Effect related. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline. Mm -hmm.